What up, what up, what up? It's your boy JB coming right back at you. Welcome back to the channel. Had to jump on here real fast. Why Caitlin Clark was named all WNBA first team. Now, guys, you saw that it came out that Caitlin Clark was on the first team all, M all WNBA. And man, I was proud. And then my conspiracy thinking mindset kicked in. Why would they give Caitlin Clark all WNBA? But clearly they tried to make it about Angel Reese for rookie of the year. And they didn't even want to talk about her with MVP. But yet she's third in the voting for WNBA. I mean, all WNBA team. I said, man, something fishy going on. So Jeff's conspiracy theory mindset kicks in. Now, y'all might not like it, but I got to go ahead and say it for the purposes of, of this channel. Again, this is just a theory. I'm not telling you this is the truth. But some of y'all going to watch my video on the WNBA lockout, and that's what I'm tying this to. Okay? The WNBA realizes if they want to do a, a, a lockout, they need somebody on their team that they currently pushed away all season. And that one person that they did not accept that they did not accept was Caitlin Clark. And if Caitlin Clark, if Caitlin Clark says she's against the WNBA lockout, that lockout has no leverage. It has no power. Nobody cared. The majority of those new customers they got that made them think their league is more successful than what it was was Caitlin Clark. So what do you do? You realize that we got to put her on the all WNBA team to pressure her into saying, look. You all WNBA, what is it going to do to your brand? Caitlin Clark may have been given the all WNBA team for lockout purposes so that she can feel like the team, these teams and these players and these media people who are all against her all season magically are welcoming her in because if they don't hurt, they don't have her join this. It ain't going to have no power. It's not going to have any leverage. Now, think about it, guys. The Unrivaled League just announced their players. Caitlin Clark is not on it. Nobody from Indiana Fever is on it. TNT signed a media rights deal, but they also have an equity stake in it. They trying to get everybody. But at the end of the day, Caitlin Clark, if she doesn't realize right now, she needs to be working with a set of private investors to spin off a league that can be built around her that she can get an equity stake in. Because what the WNBA is trying to do to her, I believe, is completely manipulative she is all nba all wnba third in voting behind um, i'm sorry guys I'm, I'm having a blank with the minnesota player and asia wilson magically she's third but she wasn't that high she was fourth in the in the mvp voting how does that work right angel reese didn't make second team but they told me the whole season that angel reese was neck and neck with caitlin clark so guys, something something sounds fishy about this WNBA, you know, all the WNBA first team. And I think they're trying to now rope Caitlin Clark in because if Caitlin Clark is not a part of any lockout, it's not gonna have the leverage. The, the, the volume came because of her. The influence came because of her. And y'all know the WNBA, all WNBA team is voted on through the end of the regular season. So how is she magically third in, in the voting? And it's because they wanted to announce this because they know that lockout is going to come. And if they can get Caitlin Clark being on the front lines, because guess what, guys? When the lockout in the NBA, if LeBron ain't signing on to it, it don't have no power. You need the best player because Asia Wilson is good, but Asia Wilson don't have no Carlin, Caitlin Clark effect. And I think that she's been given this award to try to rope her in because if they don't, and she decides she's done with this WNBA politics and they treated her like crap all year. Just like TNT got a part of the media rights for this unrivaled league and, and, and uh, uh, the girls from New York are, are, are heading up that league. Caitlin Clark should get a bunch of investors to spin off from the WNBA and just get a whole nother league because this thing is about to get messy. And if the WNBA locks out and Caitlin Clark is not a part of it, WNBA may not ever come back because I don't think anybody's going to miss it. Everybody was tuning in for Caitlin Clark as far as where the increase came from. Now you stuck with the people who were there before Caitlin Clark got there and the league is just not relevant without her. So y'all get down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about Caitlin Clark getting this all WNBA first team, man. Is Jeff over here thinking too much about this? 
or do y'all think it's authentic on why they gave it to her especially if they're saying it was through the regular through the end of the regular season when they fought her the whole year said she wasn't good said she it wasn't about her angel reese this asia wilson that okay y'all get down in the comment section let me know what you think man if you hadn't already mash that like button hit that subscribe button turn on that bell for notifications and until next time i'm gonna holler